Saint of the Day, June 4. 1. Saint Francis Caracciolo. Zeal for thy house has consumed me. Born in Villa Santa Maria, Italy on October 13, 1563, Francis Caracciolo was given the name Ascanio at his baptism. His mother was a relative of Saint Thomas Aquinas. He lived a virtuous life as a youth and seemed inclined towards a religious vocation. When he was 22 he contracted a form of leprosy which he begged God to cure him of. He promised to follow what seemed clear to him as his calling to the priesthood immediately upon being cured. He was cured instantly upon making the promise, and left immediately for Naples to study for the priesthood. On his ordination he joined the confraternity of the White Robes of Justice, who were devoted to helping condemned criminals to die a holy death, reconciled with God. Five years after he went to Naples, a letter was delivered to him which was in fact addressed to another Ascanio Caracciolo, a distant relative. The letter was an appeal from Father Giovanni Agostino Adorno, of Genoa, to this other Ascanio to join him in founding a religious order. Reading the letter he realized that the vision of Father Adorno was in total compliance with his own ideas for a religious institute and he interpreted this as a sign of God's plan. He responded to the letter and the two men spent a few weeks together in retreat to draw up the institutions and rule. The congregation was approved by Pope Sixtus V on July 1, 1588. The congregation lives both an active and contemplative life, perpetual adoration of the Blessed Sacrament being one of the pillars of their life. They work with the sick, poor, prisoners and as missionaries. In addition to the vows of chastity, poverty and obedience, they have a fourth which forbids them to seek or accept ecclesiastical honors. Upon making his profession, Caracciolo took the name Francis in honor of the saint of Assisi. He was noted for his ardent devotion to the Blessed Sacrament, often being found in ecstasy, and frequently repeating the words of the song, Zeal for thy house has consumed me. He died of a severe fever on the eve of Corpus Christi in Agnone, on June 4 in 1608, with his oft-repeated words on his lips. Those same words were found burned into the flesh of his heart when his body was opened after his death. He was canonized by Pope Pius VII on May 24, 1807. 2. Saint Optatus. The Church remembers Saint Optatus on June 4. As a convert from paganism, he is best known for his opposition to the heresy of Donatism, and his six treatises composed against them. One of them, against Parmenion, is still extant, and was mentioned by Saint Jerome in his De Viris Illustribus as having been composed in six books. The treatise stresses the need for unity and is conciliatory in tone, but it criticizes Donatist teachings on baptism, and stresses that the church cannot be limited to Africa but is Catholic. Optatus was highly praised by such contemporaries as Augustine and Fulgentius of Rusp. He died in 387 AD as Bishop of Malevis, Numidia, in Africa. Saint Francis Caracciolo and Saint Optatus, pray for us. K. Carla Channel.